Hi, my name is Ia Walzer, and I teach multi-arts at Wedgwood Elementary, and today I'm here to teach all of you guys about acting warm-ups. What you will need for today's lesson is an open space and yourself. Ooh, don't forget your imagination. You always need that. Now when acting, an actor uses three things to show a character and tell a story. They are your body, your face, and your voice. So in this video, we're going to be doing some acting and singing warm-ups to help us warm up those three things. Let's start with our body. I always like to get my body warmed up first because I find it gives me more energy. Our first warm up for our body is called the Susie Shake. So to do the Susie Shake, we're gonna shake out each of our limbs, both arms and both legs, eight times while saying it out loud. Then we're gonna do it again, but four times. Then we're gonna right away do it again, but two times. And then we're gonna do it one more time with one. One, 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 one. But we do that twice. One, 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 one. And then we get a big silly jump whee, at the very end. Okay, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 This time, we're gonna go even faster. Ready, set. you have 43 muscles in your face, that's how we're able to show different emotions. Even the tiniest little emotion. To warm up our face muscles, I like to do some pretty silly warm-ups. Are you guys ready to do them with me? Okay, our first one is called prune and lion. We are gonna make a prune face like we just ate a really sour lemon like this. Can you guys make a prune face? Nice! Now we're gonna make a lion face. I don't really know why it's called a lion face, but you make your face as big as you can and stick out your tongue like this. Ah. Can you make a lion face? Ah. Good job! Our next face is gonna be an ooh face, like you're saying ooh. You make your lips nice and tiny and stick them out. Ooh. Can you try? Now we're gonna make an E face. Instead of our lips being super tiny, we're gonna make them really big like this. E, kind of like you're smiling for a picture. E, can you guys do that? E, okay, now we're gonna get silly. We are gonna put them all together. We're gonna go like this. Ooh, E, uh, ah. Can you guys do that with me? Ooh, ee, mm, ah. Can we do it faster? Ooh, ee, mm, ah. Even faster. Ooh, ee, mm, ah. Even faster. Ready? Oh, there was my kitty. Ready? Go. Ooh, ee, ah. Good 
Good job. Rub out your face. Are those muscles getting warmed up yet? The next thing I'm going to do is we are going to take a piece of imaginary bubble gum. Here's my bubble gum. It can be whatever flavor you want. What flavor is your bubble gum? Nice. Well, take your piece of bubble gum and stick it in your mouth and start chewing it. Mmm. Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna grab another piece from the sky and chew that one. Grab two more pieces and chew those. Whoa, our bubble is going really big. Okay, grab a handful, stick your mouth. Whoa, can you chew it on one side of your mouth? And the other side of your mouth? Can you switch? Okay, now we're gonna blow our gum into a big bubble, right? One, two, three. Whoa, that's a big bubble. What should we do with it? Let's stick our invisible gum on the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna throw it on the ceiling. Ready? One, two, three. Hopefully that doesn't fall on our heads later. Okay, the last thing we do is we practice some quick emotions with our faces. Our first emotion is gonna be grumpy. Can you show me a grumpy face? What does your grumpy face look like? Mine looks like this. What about sad? Can you show me what a sad face would look like? Maybe your body kind of droops and your face gets a little pinched and tight. What about your happiest, most excited face ever? <gasps> Do your eyebrows go up? My eyebrows go up and I can't stop smiling. My mouth goes from ear to ear. What does your happy face look like? Whew, my face is kind of exhausted now. <music> Lastly, I want to warm up my voice. We warm up our voice to practice two things, diction and projection. Let's start with diction. Diction means speaking clearly. We want to make sure the entire audience can understand what we're saying. I like to practice diction by getting very bossy and telling someone across the room, good diction is speaking clearly. Can you guys do that? Good diction is speaking clearly. Now with your bossiest voice, tell that to me. Ooh. That was some pretty good diction. The next thing I like to do is practice some tongue twisters. So today I'm gonna give you two different tongue twisters to practice. Remember, the point of a tongue twister is to twist up your tongue. So if it doesn't sound very good, don't worry. That's why we practice diction. Your first tongue twister is daddy draws doors. Now, that seems pretty easy on its own, daddy draws doors, but try saying it five times fast. I'll go first. Daddy draws doors, daddy draws doors, daddy draws doors, daddy draws doors. I only got to four and my tongue got twisted. Can you try it? Daddy draws doors. How many times can you say that fast? Go ahead and try now. Good job. Later, you can challenge someone else to try to say it. Our second tongue twister for today is specific Pacific. Specific Pacific. I'm gonna try to say it five times fast. Here I go. Specific Pacific, specific. I only got to two that time. Can you guys try saying that five times fast? Specific Pacific, go. Did your tongues get twisted too? Mine got super twisted on this one. 
Again, challenge someone later to try to say, Daddy draws doors, or specific Pacific. See if they can say it better than you did. Our second thing that we're warming up when we do our vocal warm-up is projection. Projection means speaking loudly. Diction means speaking clearly. Projection means speaking loudly. It's important for us to be loud so that the whole audience can hear what we're saying. You even want that little old lady in the back who can't hear very well to hear every word that you say. Okay, we're about to get loud. We are going to use good projection to say, I use good projection! Did you notice that I also used good diction? Now remember, projection means speaking loudly without screaming. You want to speak with that stomach voice, like when you're yelling across a playground. When you scream, you actually have very bad diction. So we want to speak as loud as we can without screaming. I use good projection! Well, now that we've warmed up our body, our faces, and our voices, we are going to do a little singing warm-up that kind of uses two of those things, our faces and our voices. It's important to make sure that our voices don't get stressed out while we're acting, and to do that, we warm them up. To do this next warm-up, I'm going to use my handy-dandy piano. Okay, so we are going to do a warm-up called the Do-Re-Mi ABCs. My guess is a lot of you have already learned your ABCs, but you've learned them like this. However, that is not how we're going to do them today. We are going to use our Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. But obviously it will go a little bit faster than that, but I wanted to get it started. So we're going to do it one time, completely normal. Are you guys ready? Okay, sing it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Did you guys notice that I was using good diction and projecting? Well, now we're going to add some different facial expressions and emotions to our song while still using good diction and projection. Let's do it angry. Ready? Go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Did my diction get better or worse when I was angry? Let's do it again. This time we're going to be really sad. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, V, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Was my diction better or worse that time? Let's do it again. This time let's do it <gasps> scared. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. What did your voice and face do that time when you were scared? Now we are going to play a game that combines acting with all three elements, our bodies, our faces, and our voices. This game is called Mill, Freeze, Melt. There are only three rules to Mill, Freeze, Melt. The first one is Mill. Now you're probably saying, Miss Walzer, I don't know what Mill means, but it actually means something very easy. 
Mill is a fancy acting word that just means to walk around the stage. Not following anyone, not going any particular direction, just walking around the stage. So if you hear me say mill, that just means walk around whatever room you're in. The next rule is freeze. If I say freeze, you have to freeze. Whatever position you're in, whether it be a normal position or a very silly position, you have to freeze. The third rule of mill freeze melt is melt. If I say melt, you have to slow motion melt down to the ground, but make sure you are doing it in character still. Are you ready to play? Here we go. Okay, ready? We're gonna start off completely normally. We call that actor neutral, meaning you don't have any expression, you're not walking a certain way, you are milling completely normally. Ready? Mill. Freeze. And melt. Now we're gonna make it more interesting. You ready? This time when you mill, can you pretend that one foot weighs 600 pounds? Ready, go. Your whole body would have to drag your foot around, wouldn't it? Ugh. And freeze. This time when you mill, can you have one foot that weighs 600 pounds? And can you have one hand holding a balloon that's trying to pull you up to the sky? So remember, now you have a foot that weighs 600 pounds and your hands are holding on to a balloon trying to pull you up. No. Whoa. Come on, foot. Ugh. Notice I'm using my body to show what a balloon and a heavy foot would look like, and my face is showing how hard I'm working. Ugh. And my voice is making sounds that say this is not easy. And freeze. Whew. Now, you have one foot that weighs 600 pounds. You're holding onto a balloon pulling you up, up, up. And your other foot has a roller skate on it. Whoa, ready? Mill. Whoa! Woo! So one foot's sliding around. One foot is getting dragged because it's really woo, heavy. And my hands are pulling a balloon. Freeze! Woo! Now, you can keep adding on, but I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to say melt. Now, when I melt, I have to think about it. My hands are still holding a balloon. My foot is still 600 pounds, and my other foot still has a roller skate. Let's see what happens. Melt! Whoa! 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 Whoosh! Ha! <sighs> that made me really tired. Okay, now I'm gonna have you do it on your own. Are you ready? This time when you mill, I want you to pretend that the floor is covered in really sticky gum and peanut butter. Ready, mill. Good, think about how your body would have to move if the floor was covered in peanut butter and sticky gum. And freeze. This time when you mill, I want you to pretend that the floor is covered in sticky gum and peanut butter and you are carrying a very heavy backpack and mill. Ooh, think about how your body and face would look if you're carrying a heavy backpack and you're trying to get your feet off the floor. What would that look like with your face and body? What sounds would you make? What would your voice say? And freeze. Now, this time when you mill, the floor is covered in sticky gum and peanut butter. You have a very heavy backpack on and your nose is really itchy, but you can't scratch it. Ugh, ready, mill. Ugh, just watching you is making my nose itch. Ugh, and freeze. 
this time I want you to try to melt to the ground with the sticky gum and peanut butter on the floor while carrying a heavy backpack while having a super itchy nose. Ready, melt. Good job. Now you can come up with your own mill freeze melt rules. Try to see if someone else can do it. See what decisions they make as an actor. This melty cat has been trying to play mill freeze melt with us too. She's melting. Brrr, melted cat. <laughs> Remember, today we warmed up our bodies, our faces, and our voices. I hope you guys had fun doing these warm-ups with me today, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Bye!